Hey guys, it's Reefaholic. Tonight, I have a special video for you guys. So pull up a chair, grab some popcorn. We're gonna get into it. My wife's laughing at me right now. Are you laughing at me, babe? Look at me. Look at me. Ah. <laughs> anyway, she, she likes to make fun of me when I'm doing these videos. So, um, what we're going to do, we're going to try to do a Zozanthelli transplant. And um, in the middle of trying to get these fish in a quarantine tank. I've had this anemone for a little while and he's just not coloring up. So, I'm going to try to help him with that process. So, whenever you see these anemones bleach white and you get them home to your tank, if they have any zozanthelli left within their bodies at all, it can repopulate. Now, they have to have a little, some, or one in order to do this. If they have expelled everything, then it's been thought that they cannot ever repopulate by themselves. Now, honestly, I really don't know if they can or can't once they've been fully bleached because I've never experienced it myself. I do know that I don't want to look at this white anemone anymore. It's really starting to annoy me and uh, I'm going to try to help him out. So I figured that I would document it on video and follow up after I see some progress and uh, that way everybody can see how to do it and if it does anything uh, I can tell you at this point he has not shown any color whatsoever in at least two months so it'll be interesting to see what happens after I do feed him that tentacle and if how quick he'll color up if he colors up at all I don't know so I'm gonna go ahead and cut up a shrimp and uh, I'm gonna take a tentacle off of this Magnifica and we're gonna put it inside that shrimp and we're gonna feed it to this anemone. And hopefully, once it gets inside of his body, uh, it will help him start to recolor up and look normal again. So, uh, that being said, let me cut the camera off for just a second, get my wife to hold the phone, and uh, I'm gonna clip one of these tentacles off and uh, we'll get everything ready. All right, guys. Um... I got the scissors. We're going to see if we can snip one of these tents off. Um, I'm assuming I'm going to have to be quick because once I try to cut it, he's going to draw that sucker back in. Let's see. This one might be all right. Boop. Got it. All right, guys, so we got the tentacle. Um, if you look, there's the purple tip from one of my Magnificas. There's the cut. Can you see the cut? A clean cut. These scissors right here. And um, I kind of made like a little a channel right here to put this tentacle in we're just gonna lay it in there and then we're gonna feed this to that anemone and hopefully he will color up so I'll get back to you in just a second All right guys, there it is. Still in the shrimp. And uh, what I'll do now is start a time lapse 
and we'll watch him eat it. Let me uh, let me zoom a little bit closer, real quick. Can you see the tentacle? It's right there on the. That's that purple tip. Guys, that's it. He did eat it really well, and uh, hopefully, in about a month, I can give you guys an update that he's starting to color up. Uh, the question is, is what color will he be? Is he going to be a typical brown Gigantia? Will he be green? He could be blue. He could be purple. He could be a multicolored. Um, I guess we'll find out. I'm assuming he's just going to be a plain brown, but we'll see. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, happy reefing. Uh, if you have a comment or a question, just uh, leave it below. Thank you.